Trail of a Shooting Star. Book 1, The Rising Threat. Chapter 1, Prophecies of Old. It was a clear and bright night in Equestria, while a lonely shooting star fell from the night sky over Ponyville. A lone show wagon rolled along the dirt road, pulled along by a unicorn who looked up when the light of the star caught her eye. A shooting star. I hope my wish comes true. And so I'll get my second chance. As the morning sun rose over the lush land of Equestria, Twilight Sparkle jumped out of her bed, vigorous with excited energy. Spike! Spike! Wake up! The little baby dragon raised his head with a big yawn, before he rolled over in his tiny bed nestled at the base of Twilight's own, staring up at her, blinking like an owl. It's Saturday, Twilight. Five more minutes! He groaned. But by that time, the lavender unicorn had already brushed her mane and was fresh for the day. Today is the day, Spike! Uh, what's that supposed to mean? He muttered sleepily. Oh, you know! Today Princess Celestia will send me... For a moment, she stood perfectly still, allowing the suspense to build, then took a deep breath in anticipation. The book! <sighs> a book? The little dragon muttered under his breath. Well, how great! Twilight, have you looked around? This is a library! He exclaimed, his voice dripping with sarcasm, as he tried to get back to Dreamland. It's not just any book, Spike! She snapped back. We're talking about a book that is over 2,200 years old! Oh, I'm excited Princess Celestia will allow me to read this. It's such an old tome and one so prized by the princess, and it must be worthy for my studies. Three firm knocks sounded from the door, and Twilight immediately dashed downstairs to the front door to answer it. Normally, Derpy Hooves delivered every letter and parcel in Ponyville, however, this package was delivered by a royal delivery stallion. Good morning, miss! He greeted cheerfully. Are you Miss Twilight Sparkle? Twilight nodded, beaming. That's me, alright. And do you have a delivery for me? He then opened his saddlebag with his muzzle and removed a clipboard, holding it out for her. Certainly, miss. Just your signature here for the paperwork. Signing on the indicated line, Twilight then received her long-awaited package with glee, waved to the stallion farewell, and trotted back inside, unpacking her prize. There! Prophecies of old. Warnings from the past and manuals for the future. Oh, <laughs> the title alone gives me the shivers. Twilight giggled like an overjoyed filly on hearth swarming. Oh, I have to thank the princess so much for completing my library with this. Spike then finally came down the stairs as Twilight put the big sturdy tome on a book rest. As she opened the tome, a male voice began to sound from the book. Hear me, reader of this book. It is written that someday the void beings will return. Spike looked up. Hey, Twilight, is some pony in that book or is it trouble? Shaking her head with a smile, the unicorn explained. No, Spike. It's a magic tome. It's supposed to do that. The eldritch voice of the tome continued. But be warned. Their defeat was merely a dark deceit. When the two sisters part and reunite, when the children of Ponykind suffer from the locusts of the south, but none wanted to believe that they would ever again exist in our lands. And when the events unfold, they will unfold in fire. Magic flames sprang out of the tome, and depicted a large dragon-like being deformed and black. As the dragon spat fire all around, the voice of the tome continued. But there is only one that they will fear. A being that will come from a faraway land. He will come and rise to aid Ponykind's mightiest heroes. And they will name him Tilarians, Child of Man. He will do what no pony can do, and will lead pony kind into a greater future. Twilight's eyes widened as he saw a lone figure emerge from the book and stand up to the great beast. It had a strange form as it walked on two hind legs. It also wielded a bright prismatic blade against the black dragon. Then suddenly, music began playing from the tome. It sounded medieval and ancient, with many deep voices chanting in repetition, accompanied by horns, cellos, and drums. Spike and Twilight almost jumped in surprise as etheric voices began chanting. Once the chanting finished, the tome shut tight and fell to the ground, immobile as if it was made of lead. Twilight and Spike looked at the book, jaws dropped open before looking at each other. The baby dragon was the first to find words for this peculiar situation. Oh, talk about odd music, but what was that? Shaking her head to get a grip of herself, Twilight tried to gather all the facts that she could summon up. There was a hymn in the ancient alicorn language, Spike. It seems someone foretold the coming of a great being, 
A being which isn't a pony and will eventually become a hero. This actually might have been written even before the founding of Equestria. How exciting! There are historic hints that Alicorns in the ancient times had the gift of foresight! These words, Equestria and Chrysalia, sound awfully similar to Equestria and Chrysalis, the Changeling Queen, don't you think? Oh, it will take days to rhyme it into modern words. That is if even I can translate it properly. Spike frowned distastefully at the second name. Queen Chrysalis? But didn't Shining Armor and Princess Cadence kick her and the Changeling minions out of Equestria half a year ago? I didn't see any unique beings walking around on two legs then, not before and not afterwards. Maybe this is just a myth or a, a legend? Twilight gave her assistant a slightly annoyed sidelong look. You also believe that the Mare in the Moon was only an old ponytail spike. The little dragon shrugged. Okay, point taken. You were right that time for sure, but you have another gut feeling about some bipedal being showing up anytime soon? I mean, come on, Twilight. Iron Will, perhaps? Or myself? You know there aren't many bipedal beings in Equestria. Twilight first frowned upon the claim of her assistance, then tipped her hoof and thought. Actually, you do have a point there, Spike. No pony I know really walks on two legs. All except Lyra Heartstrings. Both shared a glance before they chuckled. So, Spike, are you ready to go through the daily checklist? With a sly grin, the baby dragon held up a very long list in a quill. Getting Spike to fetch the checklist? Check. Twilight giggled amused of his foresight. So it's next on the list. With a brief glance at the list, he narrowed his eyes and unhappily muttered. <sighs> shopping. They went down the checklist, item by item, as the basket Spike carried became heavier and heavier, while they made their way from one end of the market to the other. Twilight was thinking ahead, looking at the time. Good job, Spike! Due to my organization, and your assistance, we're ahead of schedule. So why don't we use the free time and head over to the park? We can rest for a bit on one of the benches while we double-check the checklist. The little baby dragon smiled a little as they passed the fountain in the marketplace. No complaints here, Twilight. Reaching the park, Twilight noticed a wagon that she hadn't seen in a long while. As Spike set the basket on the ground, he noticed it as well. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that... He looked up to Twilight. You know, Trixie's show wagon? It was right then that the blue show mare in question stepped outside of her wagon and seemingly began to prepare for an upcoming event. Twilight nodded with a slight smile. Yep, that's her all right. Come on, let's get a closer look. I have a feeling that this is gonna go down real bad. Because of that shooting star, there's probably something that Trixie has up her sleeve that Twilight probably doesn't even know about. Also, 2012, god damn. That was so long ago. Anyways, before we start reminiscing about the past, let's get on to our memorable donators. Top donators Dash of Evergreen, Peter Coltard, J Tin Man, Darkseid, and Ponyman. Courier Crucii, Strix, Zar630, Narwhals, Delta Omega, RuneScythe9852, Dospo, Rhiny Dragonwolf, Hunter Norman, Austin Rowland, Secret Moon, Tal Rasha, The Toilet Snake, Sword Brother and Mordred, Cerberus, Gulashiting Hazar, Ron and Wandering, Enderai63, Random Person Manguy, Easy, Starlight Glimmer, Squiddy Boy, David E. Sanchez, Soul Dragon, Gaggy, Trey, Shadow Drake, Joe Piercy, Alex F., Rainbow Dash, Teal K. Anderson, TV Killer, John Becker, Leon Reynolds, Raven Speedster, Zach Rakal, Mr. ECU, Leslie Prickett, Edgar Garcia, One Kingdom One, Nessa Rusan, Vizuri, Dyslexia Character Sheets, and Just Random Boy. Thank you all very much for watching this video, and live life to the fullest.